Hello, everybody. So we are now on the chapter seven of human computer interaction. And for this chapter, we will be learning about the interactive system development framework. Okay, so you might be asking how the different applications are being developed, right? Or how it is being implemented. And what kind of framework does our developers use in order to create a really good system, okay? So for this chapter, we will be learning the interactive system development framework. Oh, we are now in the chapter seven. Grabe, ang bilis ng panahon. Okay, so our learning objectives, we have, we will understand and discuss about um, what a model view and controller is or what is an MVC framework, okay? So let's start with the development framework. Okay, what is a development framework? So it refers to a modular approach for interactive program development where the core computational and interface parts are developed in a modularized fashion and combined in a flexible manner. Okay, so the framework allows the concept of plugging in different interfaces for the same model, model computation and easier maintenance of the overall program. So in addition, such a practice also promotes the productivity as well as easier and less costly post performance. So MVC or the model view and controller is one such major framework. So it's better to use a framework when you are developing an application in order for you to again uh, maintain and then um, to maintain it easily and in order for your application to really have a good performance. No, because when you don't have this kind of framework, um, you know, there are a lot of disadvantages that may happen no, sa yung application, either sa yung performance or either sa time collaboration or, yeah, a lot of things, worse things may can happen. So we'll not be discussing about um, a deeper details about the disadvantages and the advantages. We're just going to learn about what is the best framework, okay? Para dili kayo taas atong time. So again, the best framework so far is the MVC or the model view and controller. Okay, so what is this MVC? So the MVC approach was first proposed as computational architecture for interactive programs. Let me check if I was, okay, akala ko nakamute ako. Okay. So it is first proposed as a computational architecture for interactive programs rather than a methodology. So before it was not yet a myth, uh, I, it was not, use, not yet used as methodology, but as a computational architecture you now by the designers of the programming language called Smalltalk. So which is one of the first object oriented and modular languages. So the modular nature of the MVC architecture naturally shaped the interactive program development style or methodology. Okay. Um, yeah, that is what an MVC approach is all about. So what is this MVC? So take a look at this figure guys. No, so the MVC model view and controller is more like exo, exo on. Now they are they're like brothers or sisters that will communicate to each other, you know, in the same blood for you to develop a really good application. Okay, so itong isa isa hon para mas masabda ninyo. First is we have this model. Okay, so again, the model framework, I know the MVC framework is. Uh, divided into three parts. We have this model, view, and controller. So again, iksuo na sila. So itong ilalahon, kinsa ni si model. The model, wait. Ayan. The model part of the application corresponds to the computation. No? Uh, example, the realized as objects that deals with the underlying problem or main information or data of the application. Again, 
it deals with the underlying problem or main information or data of the application. So for all practical purposes, once in place, a model of the application tends to be stable and unchanging. So for instance, in an iterative Okay, we have this example, the banking application. The model will be parts of the program that maintain the balance, compute the interest, make wire transfer, etc. So the model has no knowledge of how the central information will be presented to the user or doesn't have any idea about the output or the presentation on how the transactions are made. So so model guys is more on a of something like um, a program no that will gonna help you to manipulate the data to get the data from your database no okay so again ang yari yung pulos ane ni model is um, to maintain no to maintain I know to deals with the the underlying underlying problem or main information or data of the application so without a model it would be hard for you to um to send a data to your view or it would be hard for you to it would be hard for the controller to manipulate the data kung wala si model okay okay si model siya gid ang ang kung asa ang data gikan okay and then the computation also okay naa sa model so muna ang gamit niya okay so as you can see here in the image, muna si model. We have this view and we have this controller. So ilalawin sa nato si view and then controller. So what is... Oh, wait lang. Okay, next is view. What is this view? Again, si mo, as a model is muna mag-help sa ato uh, to access the data, um, computation, apod siya, uh, and everything. Okay? Si view... The view, the view part of the application corresponds to the implementation for output and presentation of data. Okay, self-explanatory, right? No? So view DAO is part of the application corresponds to the implementation for output and presentation of data. So in a modern GUI-based interfaces, the implementation will typically consist of the widgets. So we all know what the widget is all about. In the previous chapter, we mentioned that the widget is, it includes menus, buttons, input text fields, and a lot more. So everything that you see, um, that you see in the screen, huh? okay, those were objects, those were widgets, okay? So for instance, views might be windows and widgets that display the list of transactions and the balance of a given accounting in a balance in a banking application so or they might play a background audio audio clip depending on the score level for a game so that's that's just an example so think about an atm now okay if you have this card you inserted the card and, and as you can as you may have observed di ba na makay makita dito sa screen ngay mong kailangan ni press or pindoton so kung unsa imong gakakita sa screen everything um unsa imong gakakita dira sa screen mo na siya ang view okay so wala pa na wala pa gaka dili pa gakakita bu dira ang mga computation tanan lang imong gakakita sa screen is a view okay so as a whole it be multiple views for a single application or, mo or model. Okay, pwede siya dagan kay views, pwede dagan kay model. And for instance, there could be different view implementation for different display platforms or user groups. So for example, in a 7-inch monitor, 10-inch LCD, or lailahi siya mga resolution, lailahi ang display, or lailahi ang mga views. So note that the output display does not necessarily have to be visual. Okay? So anytime the model is changed, pag na changes to sa model, the view of that model must be notified so that it can change the visual representation of the model on the output display. Okay, so let us say for example, um, a balance, no? An account balance. So if there are changes dito sa imong model, no? Ang yung output po, dapat po yung mga changes, di ba? 
So the region or portion of the screen or display that is no, no longer consistent. Mm -hmm. Sorry, guys. That is no longer consistent with the model is said to be damaged. So oftentimes it is too tedious to update just the damaged part of the display upon change of information in the model. So the practical approach is to redraw the entire content of the smallest widget that encompasses the damaged region or redraw the entire window. So if there are changes in the model, magnify din siya sky view kung ano mga changes in order for the view to also update the presentation or the output ng yung ihatagang user. Okay? Next, atong ililaw si controller. Si pulos ni controller. Okay, si controller, the controller part of the application corresponds to the implementation for manipulating the view. Okay, again, it corresponds to the uh, implementation for manipulating the view in order to ultimately manipulate the internal model. So it takes external inputs from the user and then interprets and relays them to the model. The controller thus practically takes care of the input part of the interaction. So it uses the underlying UI execution framework or operating system to achieve this purpose while the view is mostly independent from the operating system or platform. Okay, so let us say, for example, you have this login page. Diba, nakai username, nakai password, and nakai login button. Okay, so once you enter your username, imagine, diba, pwede mo gagamit o Facebook, social media, pwede mo gagalagin, no? Unsi gakay tabo ana at sa iyang back end, no? So you enter your username, you enter your password, and you enter... And you click on the login button. Okay? So, pag-click ninyo sa login button, this is a view, right? Those different widgets that you've seen in the screen is the view. Okay? Pag-click ninyo sa login button, it will be transferred to the controller. Okay? Si controller da yun will help to um, communicate to the model about what inputs you've, in, you've given to, to the controller. Okay? So, man ang ang gusto niyo may tabo. So let us say the username and password is Jendo and then password is yung ano yung pass 1, 2, 3. Muna ano baka communicate din si controller ka model kung kanis siya nga login password or username password is nag-exist ba siya sa database. So tulong siya tulong ka tulong ni sila ka buhok nga mag-uban-uban always. So the view and then si controller and then the model. Okay, so yung ano lang yung purpose. Nga nung, why MVC is the best framework? Because let us say, for example, guys, there are there are issues encountered. No? Ang issue nga encountered is, let us say, wrong ang output. No, wrong ang output ni view. So, unsa may kasagara, uh, unsa may kasagara um, na, na ay mali sa iya. It could possibly be nga ang imong i-change is the model lang area. No, the model lang model lang a part. Ug dili ni mo kailangan patandugon ang view, yung mga design kay ano man siya, kay independent from ano man siya. Um in a development aspect lahi pan tong uh, code si model. So, mao nang gi ano siya gi bulag-bulag wala siya gi usa. Okay? Okay, next. So, think about this, no? How MVC works. So, it's kind of like how you make a Thanksgiving dinner. Okay, so imagine you invite kasi mong mga friends. No? You have a fridge full of food. Okay, that is the model. No? So, the fridge contains the raw materials we will use to make a dinner. Okay? So, manay mong model. You also probably have a recipe or two. Nakay recipe, di ba? So, a recipe, assuming you follow it correctly, is like the controller. Okay? So, recipes dictate which stuff in the fridge you'll take out. 
how will you put it together and how long you need to cook it okay so muna ang muna ang um rule ni ano controller then you have a table settings now you have silverware spoon fork etc which are what your hungry friends or family used to eat dinner so the tabletop items are like the view they uh, they let your guests interact with your model and controller's creation okay so i hope uh, nakuha niyo yung idea guys what a model view and controller is all about so again kung sa thanksgiving dinner kinsa si model the fridge no kinsa ang controller si recipe nga imong ginasunod and then kinsa ang view katong mga tools no ang gamiton pagkaon okay so uban gina silang tulo kay mo na ang best framework in order for you to develop a really good system so mbc is helpful when planning your app because it gives you an outline of how your idea should be organized into actual code okay so for example you have this to-do list application so this app will let users create tasks and organize them into lists so the model in a to-do app might define what a task what a task is and what a list is a collection of tasks okay the view code will define what the to-dos and list look like visually okay the task could have a large font or be in a certain color or have these rectangles of this any other elements no? and finally the controller could define how a user adds a task or marks another as complete the controller connects the view view add button to the model so that when you click add task the model adds a new task so kanis lang tolo again exo uni sila no they are in the same blood no connected to each other nga mag communicate um mag communicate in order to provide a really good output and for you to develop a really good system okay so that's it and i hope you guys have learned what mbc framework is all about Okay, so muna siyang ginagamit in order for us again to develop and implement a really good system. Ako ginang balik-balik on. Okay, so in this chapter, we have studied one interactive application development methodology called the MVC, which is based on the principle on the separation between the UI and the core computational functionalities of a given application. Such, such a separation of concerns allows for the two to be mixed and match for exploring different combinations of a proper set of functions and corresponding UIs and lends uh, itself to easier code maintenance. So MVC gives you a starting place to translate your ideas into code and also make, makes coming back to your code easier since you will be able to identify which code does what okay so in addition the organizational standard mvc promotes make it easier for other developers to understand your code thinking about how code interacts with it with other code is a significant part of programming and learning to collaborate with other developers is an important skill and uh, taking the time to think about how your app fits into into the mvc framework will level up your skills as developer by teaching you both it also make your apps better okay so that would be all for this video thank you so much for watching and have a great day